The culture of motorcycling is tightly associated with custom modification of bikes and installation of exotic components. Therefore, electric motorcycles are also ending up at the workshops of enthusiasts who are not willing to let their imagination idle and want to go beyond the restricted limits of mass-produced models. Today, we will review the most interesting electric conversions of internal combustion two-wheelers as well as custom designs of EV motorbikes of 2021. Before we begin, smash the subscribe button to support the electric revolution and let's get technical. We're getting used to the versatility of designs and shapes that electric motorcycles are adopting, but some new models still manage to impress. One of them is the apocalyptic E-Fighter V2 by Droog Moto that possesses industrial aggressive looks and a powerful electric heart. The beast rides on solid aluminum wheels wearing beefy Bridgestone all-terrain tires and the bodywork resembles impenetrable armor. This model builds on the original E-Fighter but improves its performance by acquiring the electric underpinning from the Zero DS motorcycle. The Z-Force brushless motor yields 46 horsepower, 80 pound-feet of torque and a top speed of 100 miles per hour. Each bike is fully customizable, but we can still highlight standard Brembo brakes and on-the-fly adjustable suspension. Based on the Zero SRF and developed in cooperation with the company specialist, this custom bike from the San Francisco London Untitled Motorcycle blends EV performance with experimental aircraft aesthetics and rally car aerodynamics. The XP loses all bodywork except for the strictly required parts and gets new CNC'd polymer panels and 6061 aerospace aluminum components. It also sits on a modded tubular steel frame with Showa suspension and 17 inch wheels wrapped on Pirelli Diablo Superbike tires. Finally, there are custom LED lights and Zero Cipher 3 color TFT display. Just as the stock bike, the XP tops out at 110 horses, 124 miles per hour, and 160 miles of riding. Deus Ex Machina is easily one of the most recognizable custom motorcycle workshops on the business. Their first experience of working on an electric bike was associated with one of the world's best machines so far, the Zero SRS Fully Fared Sports Bike. To infuse this model with a pure cafe racer spirit, its bodywork was replaced with a single mold of carbon fiber composites and the final fabrication required the expertise of aerospace engineers from Lockheed Martin. Additionally, this build features a hand-blown windscreen from Zero Gravity, race car style winglets, and a new seat from Saddleman. Moreover, the standard Jehuan brakes were replaced with Brembo's. Suspension was upgraded with Showa system, and the bike now rides on ultralight Dimag carbon wheels. Make your input in the development of electric vehicles by smashing the like button. And thanks for the feedback. Let's get back to it. Three brilliant employees from the failed Alta Motors startup could not stay idle for too long, so they decided to create their own shop called Blayton Moto. Their first build, the Death Rattle, is an electric flat tracker stripped down to the bare bones with the idea to give riders a purest electric experience from the Redshift drivetrain. The bike features polystyrene body parts, has no regular DC charge port, runs a super light wiring harness, and its controls are limited to mere throttle and brake. The death rattle is suspended by a front setup from Yamaha R6 and a rear shock from Penske. The exact performance numbers are not specified, but they should be around the Redshift's 50 horsepower.
The Italian e-racer specializes in creating bodywork kits for production electric bikes from various manufacturers. The Edge is a conversion based on Zero SRF that is given a more minimalistic exterior. Its library is modernized, plus there is a custom seat, a smaller LED headlight, and new compact tank. The bike also gets racing wave brakes and air tender suspension in the rear. The Rugga kit, on the other hand, was designed specifically for Zero FXS that gets an auxiliary aluminum frame with side ring, advanced LED lighting, and underseat storage with USB ports. The flat tracker movement is steadily gaining traction and Zero Motorcycles has in its stables a perfect candidate for a conversion. The Quiet Riot was commissioned after a direct request from the California manufacturer, but at the same time, it is a personal project of Nick Gravely. Clay Moto performed a role of the designer and digital modeler, as well as the fabricator for the build. The entire creation process took 80 man hours and 10 long months for the final carbon fiber body parts to arrive. Taking the capable concept of the 46 horsepower FXS, Nick replaced the wheels with 19 inch sunrims wearing Shinko flat track tires, installed Shin Yo 50mm LED projector headlamps, and swapped the stock belt drive with a chain and sprocket kit. Created by Zero Motorcycles designer Cole Mischler, the conversion turns a beginner-orientated Honda Grom into a formidable EV with more torque than such gas icons as Yamaha MT-09. Called the Reaper, the custom bike scores a 27 horsepower drivetrain from Zero FX and peaks at 66 pound-feet of torque. The latter figure represents an 800% improvement over the gas Grom. Plus, the 3.6 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack enables the Reaper to cover around 27 miles on a charge. Additionally, the motorbike gets unique fiberglass bodywork and an improved suspension setup with Olin's units front and rear. This project was commissioned by the Dutch watch company TW Steel and developed in cooperation with the creators of the movie Oil in the Blood that focuses on motorcycle tuning. The build uses the standard Energica EVA as a donor model as it's powered by a permanent magnet AC motor with 145 horses and 148 pound-feet. Though the drivetrain components remain unchanged, De Bolex specialist did rework the EVA's chassis, adding a new subframe max ton racing stock absorber and dive mag aluminum wheels. They also created a unique aluminum bodywork with a Fox tank, installed a custom seat and added clip-on handlebars. Custom motorcycle builder Walt Siegel collaborated with industrial designer Mike Mayberry, creator of the Bull 1125 based Ronin 47 series, to explore the electric avenues. The sporty pack boasts forged carbon fiber bodywork, Olin suspension, Brembo brakes kit with single disc, and custom made 17 inch wheels. Weighing just 251 pounds, the bike contains a zero mile Alta redshift drivetrain, which delivers instant 50 horsepower and 42 pound feet of torque. Its 5.2 kilowatt hour battery is good enough for 70 miles of range and it can be fully recharged in 3 hours via a standard socket. The Pact is built to order limited series bike and only 8 lucky owners will get their copy.
Inspired by the Austrian KTM Supermotos, Zero Motorcycles cooperated with San Francisco's huge design to reimagine the Zero FXS. The new SM Custom takes the already stealthy bodywork of its platform and gives it some cyberpunk treatment. The dual front LED headlight is replaced with a single eye unit and the rear gets a spaceship inspired taillight. The new body plastic panels were painted in silver to resemble brushed aluminum, plus the shock and wheels were replaced with higher grade items from Fox and Sun rims. In terms of performance, the Zero SM electric bike remains unchanged and yet still remarkable. It offers 46 horsepower, 78 pound-feet of torque, 91 miles range, and Bosch Generation 9 ABS. We want to thank you and everyone who supports the transition to the electric future of our transportation. Smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment below expressing your thoughts about the presented lineup to promote this video. Extra EV content is on the screen. Just follow the links, stay electrified, and see you soon.